kids. What? Hello, my little rainbows, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Dynasty. In the last episode of Dynasty, Victoria found a blackmail letter from her daughter, Harley's father, Reuben, and he said that he was going to reveal himself to Harley if Victoria did not pay him a million dollars. So Victoria didn't have the money, but she actually ended up going to Reuben's place where he was staying, and they got into a physical fight. Victoria got a bunch of bruises, and she went home, and then Reuben followed her and showed up at their house. So he showed up at the Golding Estate. So we're about to see what is going to happen with that. So if you're looking forward to this episode, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and let's go ahead and play the Sims 4 Dynasty. Okay, so it has been a while since we have done a Dynasty episode, but as you guys saw in the recap, Ruben is standing at the front door of the Golding Estate and he's about to knock on the door, so he followed Victoria home. Victoria was able to rush upstairs before her husband Harrison saw her bruises and her black eye. Ruben, I'm pretty sure, had a black eye too, but now he doesn't anymore, so I don't know what happened to it. Maybe his word is bad and he was able to cover it with something or I don't know, something like that. Maybe he didn't want to look as suspicious when he was coming to the Golding Estate. I don't know if he has a plan exactly. I just know that he is ready to reveal himself to his daughter, Harley. He has kept his distance because Victoria asked him to, and he honestly didn't have any interest to find Harley and to talk to her or to make any connection with her at all. He's really just doing this to spite Victoria because Victoria did not give him the million dollars that he asked her for. Okay, Ruben just knocked on their door and is now talking to their butler, Carter. So he's asking him to come in, telling him that he is here to see Harley and that he also wants to see Harrison. Oh, okay, and there goes Jonah. That was Alistair's boyfriend who was here hanging out, so I guess he's leaving now. Carter is telling Harrison that there's someone here to see him. He's saying that he needs to see Harley and Harrison, but I feel like Harrison's like, okay, let me see who this guy is first before I let him see Harley. And I'm gonna have Harrison do a rude introduction just because I feel like he's like, who the heck is this? Why is he asking for my stepdaughter? And why is he asking for me? And why is he being so aggressive about it too? He can't just walk into our house and do this, especially like it's pretty late at night also. It's like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. Oh, okay, and now they're arguing. But yeah, I feel like Ruben is telling Harrison that he is Harley's father and he wants to see her right away and he just wanted Harrison to know this. So I do think that Harrison's going to tell Ruben to wait here. I feel like he has to, he wants to talk to Victoria first, I think, before he goes to go get Harley. And I do also think that Harley, or that Victoria has seen Ruben through the window coming in. So she's probably rushing downstairs right now. Okay, so, well, Melody, uh, Astrid's friend, is also leaving at the moment. But Harrison is right here waiting for Victoria. Victoria has come down the stairs. And this is the first time Harrison is seeing Victoria's bruises too. First of all, there's someone out there right now who is claiming to be Harley's father. And he's just so confused right now, I feel like. So Victoria is trying to explain to him that yes, that is Harley's father and she meant to tell him and she's so sorry that she didn't, but like he needs to calm down right now. But yeah, Victoria is just trying to explain to Harrison the situation. And I feel like Harrison is just so tense right now. Like he doesn't know what's going on, but she is telling him like all he wants to know is where she got the bruises from. So I feel like she's very reluctant to tell him that it was Reuben, but she has to because she really doesn't have any other choice. So she's telling him right now that it is Reuben and I feel like Harrison is just so upset and so angry and he does not want to let Ruben see Harley because Ruben did this to his wife. Um, what the heck? Ruben is just like in their dining room and he just helped himself to some food? That sounds like something he would do. But now Victoria is yelling at him and saying like, how could you show up here? I feel like Ruben's just saying like, I told you I was going to be here. And now Harrison's pissed off because he's like, you did this to my wife. But Harrison is just so... Oh, oh, okay, he just shoved him. Look at Victoria, she's just so pissed now too. She's so angry. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, Harrison is so angry too. He looks so mad. He's just trying to protect his wife, honestly. He just found out that this guy hurt his wife and gave her these bruises. So obviously he's pissed. And Ruben is just saying like, look, I am here to see my daughter. That is all I want right now. I don't know how Harley, like she's upstairs. I don't know how she hasn't heard any of this yet. Oh, oh no, 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 <gasps> oh my God, guys. 
oh my gosh, okay, they're like upside down. All right, well, Harrison's getting into a fight with Ruben right now. Victoria just like walked away from this, like, I should probably get out of the way. Oh, she's watching. She's watching from the side. Oh, she's cheering. All right, she's cheering for Harrison. And Harrison, it looks like Harrison just won that. Oh, guys, Harrison just won that fight. All right, Ruben should probably leave. Okay, yeah, Harrison is asking Ruben to leave right now. He's saying like he is going to regret doing that to his wife. Oh, okay, and now the kids are off to school. Oh, wow, it's morning time already. Oh my gosh, that was just the whole night. That just happened the whole night. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, well, that's good. I mean, somehow Harley and Astrid and Alistair, they missed all of that. I think Harrison's still pretty upset with Vic- Yeah, he's still pretty upset with Victoria right now. I think he's really irritated about the whole thing, especially because Victoria didn't tell him what was going on. So I think Victoria's trying to explain it to him right now. And Victoria's trying to apologize too, and basically just saying, and for those of you who missed it too, so Victoria, she had the baby with Ruben. She had Harley with Ruben when, before they were married and out of wedlock. And then her family is very rich and very wealthy and they were able to figure out how to hide the whole thing. So Harrison thinks that Harley's father was from Victoria's first marriage and that he passed away and then Victoria got married again and then her last husband actually passed away. And now Harrison has to find out that Harley's father is still alive and that Victoria lost about the whole thing and he just doesn't understand why Victoria lied to him about it. So I think that's just what was bothering Harrison so much. But now they have to talk because Victoria is saying like, I don't even know if he's going to let up. Like he threatened to find Harley and to talk to Harley and to reveal himself to her. And she hasn't even told Harley that her father is still alive. And I feel like Harrison's just telling her like, you have to tell Harley. That's just something you have to do. I understand like hiding things from your children because he's hid a lot of things from his children. But if Harley's going to find out, she should probably hear it from you first. So I think Harrison is trying to encourage her to talk to Harley when she comes home from school. Oh, okay, now they're flirting. So now they're fine, I guess. I think still things might be a little bit tense, but I think Harrison has forgiven Victoria for this now and just told her that she needs to talk to Harley about everything. So I was really hoping to do this in this episode, but I think Think it might have to be in the next episode. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I do want Harrison to have a dinner party, basically just throw a big event for his clients that he's been doing business with. So it's going to be a lot of people, some people that we've seen before and some people that we haven't seen. One of the issues is that one of the people that he, or one of the families that he does business with, their family is Lance's family, which is Astrid's ex boyfriend and Lance is still trying to talk to Astrid because it was not his fault why they broke up. It was Harley's fault why they broke up. So he's still been trying to talk to Astrid and Astrid's friend Melody has also been trying to get Astrid to talk to Lance because she also knows that it's not Lance's fault and Astrid's just like, she doesn't want to hear it. She's so incredibly stubborn that she was just, I feel like so embarrassed and she hates Harley. She hates her stepsister so much. So she just doesn't want anything to do with Lance. All right, so it is now after school. Astrid, Melody, and Alexis are at their favorite lounge, the Skyfall, Skyfall Lounge, which we have been here before. So they are major VIPs here because Alexis's dad owns this lounge and owns a lot of other, many other businesses and places in the city. So they are major VIPs here and they also have their little hangout spot here in the lounge which they're going to right now. But yeah, this is their hangout spot. So I feel like now would be a good time because I feel like this is something they're discussing about too. So right now it is, it's technically fall, which means that when we had the prom episode a few episodes ago, it wasn't really, I guess, prom. It was supposed to be more of homecoming because it was in the fall. So now it is fall, which means it's about the time where they're about to apply for colleges. And I did mention in the very first episode, and Astrid, I feel like is just super stressed. I mentioned in the first episode that Astrid, she just wants to get out of high school. She just wants to graduate. She wants to go to the best business school, which I feel like is probably Brightchester. I feel like Brightchester, since it's so historic, that's probably where her father and where her grandfather all went for business and got their business degrees. I think that Alexis also knows a lot about business because of her father. He is a huge entrepreneur and he owns so many clubs and restaurants and veterinarian clinics and all of that stuff in the area too. So 
Astrid's probably on the same page, which is why Astrid and Alexis, like, yes, Astrid and Melody are super close too, but I feel like Astrid and Alexis are just like best friends. Melody, on the other hand, I think she wants to apply to both. One, because her boyfriend is applying to Foxbury. So I think that she's a little bit boyfriend obsessed and wants to go where her boyfriend is going, but she also wants to apply to Brightchester since her friends are going there. I feel like Melody is a little bit more on the fashion side. Like she's definitely a huge fashion icon in the city. And so is Astrid too. But I feel like with Melody, that's definitely more what she is going for. Alistair is also applying to both. Astrid's twin brother. I feel like Alistair is still kind of unsure of where he wants to go and what he wants to do. And then Harley, I don't know guys. I feel like Harley, she, cause she's such a gold digger and she's such a social climber. I think that she would try to go where Astrid's going because I feel like Harley and Astrid too, they all know they wanna stay in the city. They wanna stay in San Myshuno or at least nearby. I feel like Melody might end up going to Del So Valley or something like that. But Astrid for sure, she wants to stay in the city and Harley also wants to be a huge social climber in the city as well. That's why I'm wondering if they should go to dorms because they have so much money. So I don't know what the dorms are gonna be like in university, but I think that they need the nicest dorm possible. And I don't know if there's a way to get nicer dorms than other ones, or I know that you can also live off campus, but I don't know how the roommate system works either. But I think that if Astrid and Alexis end up going to the same school, they would definitely be roommates. Same thing with Melody. If she ends up going to the same school, they would probably all try to be roommates. So I think they're all just super stressed, but Astrid knows, I mean, she's got great grades. She's top of her class. She is involved in a ton of activities activities too and she's a great leader so she can definitely get into any school she wants to. I don't know how the whole application process works with this thing anyway but I think so. I don't think we're going to have time for the dinner. At least we can start the dinner in this episode that I was talking about with Harrison and his clients and his business partners but by the time university comes out we're going to skip ahead several months because I do want to go ahead and get into that and I'm so excited too to see what that's going to be like because I feel like it's perfect like they were at the perfect age when I started this they were seniors in high school so they're just at the perfect age for university and for all of that as well okay now everyone is getting into the hot tub apparently but i guess they're continuing their university talk here but yeah so i'm very excited for university i just think that it's going to be a struggle hopefully it won't take up too much of just my game just because i started lagging and everything so hopefully it won't affect it too much but i do want to get it because i never had it for the sims 3 so i'm excited to get it for the sims 4 because it actually works out perfectly. But okay, so it is starting to become morning-ish time. So we should probably have the girls head home. Oh yeah, okay, it's 5 a.m. So I'm going to have Astrid head home. All right, so we are now back at the Golding Estate. So we are in Harley's room and Harley is talking to her mother. Victoria has been so stressed and she's been debating, telling Harley about her father and what's going on. She knows that Harley Harley had gotten bullied when she was younger for not having a father and it just created this huge stress on her and they went through a lot. So Victoria is now talking to Harley about it. Is it just me? Does Harley, well, Harley's not feeling well. Is Harley, does she look pregnant or is that just me? It doesn't say she's pregnant. Okay, does it look like she's pregnant or is it just me? Guys, Harley has the share big news interaction. Isn't that only when they're pregnant? Is Harley pregnant? Wait, oh my God, okay, wait, okay. She's sharing her big news. What, she just, she just pointed to her stomach. Her mom was like, oh my God, what? <gasps> what? Wait. It doesn't say that she's pregnant, you guys. I'm so confused right now. Also, this is custom content furniture, so it looks like Victoria's like going through the bed right now. <gasps> guys, it says invite to feel baby. <gasps> Harley's pregnant. She's pregnant. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my God. I'm freaking out. Harley's a teenager. I don't have the teenage pregnancy mod. This has only happened one other time in the Royal Family series. And I heard that MC Command Center can do this, but I didn't think that it actually could for teenagers because I don't think teenagers still have the option. They don't have the option to try for a baby with the MC Command Center. Guys, I'm so confused. <gasps> oh my god, Victoria was just about to tell her about her father, but then Harley, her teenage daughter, told her that she's pregnant. Obviously, like, just because of the Sims interaction, she looked excited about it, but I think Harley's freaking out, kind of. Who's the father? Guys, who's the father? 
<laughs> Wait, but I'm confused because it doesn't say in any of her movements that she's pregnant. It says she has an ear infection. She's freaking out. Harley's freaking out. People are freaking out. Oh my god, Astrid is never going to let her live this down. I can't believe it, you guys. I can't believe it. I was not expecting this. This wasn't supposed to be part of the story. Who's the father? It has to be Lance. I think that's the only guy that she's had a romantic... No, wait. There's Lance who is Astrid's ex-boyfriend, and then there is Julian, who is a Melody's boyfriend. So it's one of these two. One of these two is her baby's daddy. <gasps> no way. No freaking way, you guys. I think I'm gonna have to postpone the dinner to the next episode. Then we can meet all of the other Sims that Harrison has been doing business with and everything. I was really expecting Victoria to tell Harley about her father in this episode, but I feel like now would be an awful time to tell her about this. But. I think that her father's going to show up eventually. So it's kind of, it's kind of hard. She just, her stepbrother or her half-brother was just born too. Like just born. I was not expecting to age him up for a little bit more time. Probably when they were going to university. Oh my God, I can't believe it, you guys. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here and I have to figure out some stuff, but we are going to have the business dinner in the next episode. And then I guess we're going to have to see how Harley and how Victoria handles all of this. But I'm in such shock. I was not expecting that. I still can't figure out how to get teenagers pregnant and then they just get pregnant on their own and it's really off-putting and it throws me off of all the storylines that I planned. But anyway, so yeah, we're gonna do that in the next episode, the business dinner. But if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!